Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, and thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, my business partner, Art Kirsch, and I are with the fabulous John Mariani, not only the virtual gourmet, but a world traveler. Hi, John. Good morning. Yeah, you know, we've recently uh, uh, done a series with you on Ireland, uh, but uh, I don't know that we've particularly spoken about Galway uh, to any extent, and I know that it's an, an area of expertise that you have. Could you tell us a little bit more about Galway? Yeah, uh, Galway is a small city, resembles a town. <clears throat> Dublin's a small city, you can walk around a couple of hours. Galway, you can walk around in one hour and see all the sights. It's on the west coast, okay, so it's opposite where Dublin is. Um, beautiful Galway Bay, which was a song made famous by De Bingle, Bing Crosby. Back in 1947, it was written by an Irishman in 1946, became De Bingle's biggest hit, have you ever been across the sea to Ireland? Uh, the curious thing about the song, references. If you go to Ireland, if you go to Galway, you'll see the, the boys digging clams in Claddagh Bay, and, and, you're, and you're going to be seeing the women picking the titties. It makes it like 19th century Ireland, where everybody is dirt poor and has mud cakes on their face, and, and it's nothing like that at all. Um, it is not a city that's dominated by skyscrapers or bank buildings. It has much more of the feel of uh, Ireland as you would like to think of an Irish town, okay? Even much more so than Galway, uh, than I uh, Dublin, which has lots of skyscrapers and bank buildings now. Um, Galway is a charming city. It's a two-day city, frankly, because you will see everything you'd want to see, which includes an, an exquisite, beautiful um, cathedral, which is on the uh, the river there. Really, really nice the way it's set. Um, you will see a series of small two-story, three-story houses and homes, uh, boutiques and restaurants because they have a height limit. Um, <laughs> the, the biggest uh, medieval uh, point of interest is called the Brown Door. That's it, all it is. They lost the whole rest of the castle, got demolished centuries ago. There's nothing but this wooden brown door standing out in in our <laughs> park. I see it. I mean, you know, you door aficionados are going to love it. And <laughs> it's right um, behind there's a, there's a uh, monument to JFK, and there's also this this small f sitting figure, a statue, who looks like like. Um, uh, um, Tony Bennett or Chico Marx. And I said, "Who? What? What is this?" It turns out to be Ted or Patrick O'Connell, who was a poet. But if you look at it, it looks just like Chico Marx, even with the hat on. Yes. Yeah. So there's that, and then there's um, a shopping street called Shop Street, where which is just lined with uh, stores and boutiques. Um, many of them uh, where you could buy modern electrical equipment or uh, the coolest new fashions, but also a lot of selling Irish woolens and good pubs, colorfully painted, and a number of good uh, restaurants, including a first-rate uh, Italian restaurant where I had a, a fine pizza margarita and some stall. The pastas were made uh, fresh, which is called uh, Frateria Manganetti, uh, Magnetti, Magnetti, it's pronounced Magnetti, but M-A-G-N-E-T-T-I, which I enjoyed very much. The best hotel in town is about 150 years old now. It's called Hardman, and it's attached right smack up against the railway station. It was a railway hotel at one time. So you come into Galway on the train, and you exit, and there's your hotel right there. Beautiful stone hotel, um, modern, refurbished. When you were there, they were still painting. It has a terrific little brasserie where you get uh, Irish and French food, where you have a, a complimentary breakfast. Um, and then across from that is a, a bistro called the Oyster Bar, which is more casual, best for drinks and lunch, but they do a nice curry and they do fish and chips and so forth. Um, we found uh, two really superb restaurants, uh, just as you hope 
two they would look and be because they're in old rustic stone houses and buildings. One is called Bard I B A R D A E, and it's very rustic. But the food is as modern, using fresh local ingredients as any as you'll find in Ireland, and it's always packed. Um, it's not cheap, but it's not that expensive. Oh, the dollar is about at parity at the moment, by the way. So a pound, or rather a, a euro, is going to cost you about a buck two or something at this point. Uh, wow. Very wow. good. The other one is called Kai, K-I-E, which, as I'm sure you know, Art, is a Maorian for food. Um, and it's, it's from a Maorian word because the owner came from New Zealand. Uh, it's, a, it's a strange destiny that leads the New Zealanders to Ireland when it used to be the other way around. They used to get booted out of Ireland as prisoners to go to New Zealand. Anyway, she came back and opened Kai and is doing wonderful, beautiful food out of a charming, absolutely exquisite. It looks like a a B and B and 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 painted red furniture and white walls and filigree glass and there's coffee pots with flowers in it and you'll have terrific uh, conifer crab and lobster and they have Irish uh, artisan cheeses and uh, their own local Guinness. Um, it's uh, it's just a charming, wonderful place. Uh, where I will never forget both those places, Bard I and uh, Kai. Hmm. Yeah, as a, wow, as a, if, if, if you went to visit, um, uh, sometimes you see uh, people will go to, uh, uh, in Italy, they'll go to uh, uh, stay in a, a Tuscan villa and just relax there for a week or two. Is there that kind of thing in Galway? It sounds very uh, idyllic. Uh, maybe like a, if you had like a B&B &B or something like that, there, that you might just want to stay and just uh, change your pace. Uh, kind of thing. Is that something you would do in Galway? There certainly is that because um, you could stay, I said you could do it in two days and I'll see everything. But because it's a very peaceful, restful place on the mm -hmm. water, uh, you can go boating, you can rent bicycles. And I'm a big favor of what I call places to stay put, mm -hmm. which you can pan out from. So don't stay in Venice, stay in a town outside of Venice. Okay. Um, don't stay in Rome, stay in uh, Orvieto above Rome. And from there, you can fan out and you get to Rome if you want, and you get to Venice if you want. But you can also get to the smaller cities and towns. And of course, uh, Ireland is rife with uh, such charming small towns just uh, all over the byways and highways. <laughs> if you go to bicycle there, that's good. Uh, if, as I've said before, if you're going to drive, they drive on the wrong side of the road. <clears throat> and um, that is, I, for one, found it dangerous as hell. Um, on the first day I went to the car, I snapped off the rearview mirror on the left side 10 minutes after I read to the car, and the second rearview mirror the day uh, later on the uh, on the right side. Because, um, you know, you're, you're, you're just so enjoying, you're going around a roundel there, a rotary, and you drift into the right side, and then all of a sudden, here comes a lorry in at you. So, but if, if you feel brave, uh, do it and you can get, you can get to any number of 20, 25 cities within an hour, hour and a half drive of, uh, of Galway. Wow. Mm -hmm. Galway. It's only two and a half hours from Dublin by train. Wow. I nice. definitely want to go to Galway. Well, maybe we ought to, uh, um, uh, expand celebrating act two and, uh, do a, uh, we could do like, you know, um, uh, Jeopardy and some of the other, but don't they travel around? We should travel around and do it maybe a different country now that the world's opening up again. Good idea. Okay. Good idea. Okay. Will you speak to our sponsors about that, John? Because I know that you like to you like to chat chat them up about stuff. Let's go to Ireland. I'll call up uh, uh, Ted Cruz. <laughs> See if we get a Mexican connection there. Perfect. Thank you, John. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.